this is Ryan with Pig Rig Trap Systems, here today to talk about alternative ground anchors. The toggle type anchor that comes with your trap system works very well under most circumstances, but there are occasions when you may want to consider using a different type of anchor. Uh, one of those would be if you're working in highly organic soils uh, that are kind of loose. So what would come to mind is if you're in the uh, river bottom uh, where you have a high, high amount of organic matter, uh, the soil density is very loose. Um, this type of anchor probably will not work well for you and you should consider a different type of anchoring system. Uh, another circumstance that comes to mind is if you're working in a plowed field where the hard pan's been broken, uh, this system may not do a good job of anchoring uh, the force needed to be able to stabilize the trap. Uh, also, if, you, if it's imperative to get these out of the ground, you may want to consider a different type of uh, anchoring system. These, we've heard of people pulling them out of the ground, but they're considered disposable. Uh, typically, we just take the top and either cut it off or tuck it down in the soil. Uh, you can try to pull it out with a T-post lifter or the bucket of a tractor, uh, but a lot of times the ferrule will give way before the actual toggle pulls out of the ground. So uh, if the upper ferrule gives way, your toggle type anchor is still going to be on the ground and there's no good attachment point. So uh, one, of the, one of the type of anchoring systems that we recommend is using a T-post setup. You can take, these are a six foot T-posts that I've used, driven in at a 45 degree angle with the nubs down. Um, three foot from the base of the T-post that you're supporting. So the toggle type anchors are anchored at four foot. Uh, if you're going to use the T-post setup, anchor that at three foot. So you drive that in the ground at a 45 degree angle with about 36 inches exposed. And then instead of just directly hooking the cam strap to the post, what we do is we take the fabric and feed it through the eye of the hook cam strap like so, slide that over the top of the T-post, down to the bottom, and let it cinch right there at the bottom below one of those nibs. From that point, you can take your cam strap at the top, pull back on your T-post, and anchor it. This isn't coming out of the ground. Uh, another option would to be use rebar or angle iron to create yourself an anchoring system this is a commercial stake it. It's got cleats to help prevent it from pulling out of the ground. It's got chain attached to it via just two welds. Uh, these work very well. You can make something very similar with very limited fabrication skills. Basically, you take yourself a 48 inch piece of angle iron, weld on a large chain link, and you can drive that into the ground at about 48 inches, or at, at four foot from the base of the T-post down about 40 inches or so uh, and just hook your hook right into the chain link. In addition to that, as we mentioned in our user's manual, you can also use rebar. This is a 48 inch piece of rebar. You would take a large nut and weld that to the top of the T-post itself and use a large fender washer to go up through and cap the top of the T-post. And I have that set up demonstrated here. Uh, in this circumstance, I use a clamp on the top of the T-post as I didn't have one welded up. Use a large fender washer. This is driven in at 48 inches from the bottom of the trap. 40, and roughly 43 inches in the ground with just three inches exposed. Go ahead and tighten that down, and that works as a very good anchoring system. Uh, this type of system works very well if you're on hard pan out in places like Texas where you have uh, to drill holes into limestone rock in order to set up your trap system. So what we recommend is use a half inch Bosch bit on a hammer drill, drill in about 18 inch pocket and go ahead and just slide your rebar in there uh, with, the, with the washer on there and a welded nut on top and that works as an excellent um, anchoring system for that limestone type uh, soil. So. You also have that. The other option to use is a uh, screw type anchor. Typically those are used to stabilize a party tent, uh, some sort of trailer. They usually have a three to four inch auger disc on them and they're screwed in the ground about 18 inches. Those work very well. Uh, they take a lot of force to be able to pull them out of the ground. Uh, so that's another alternative. Do not use screw in type 
uh, anchors for dog tie outs. These will not hold the trap system. They'll pull right out of the ground. So uh, this will not work, but the but the pan type anchor on an auger type works very well. So hopefully that helps, gives you some ideas on what you can use. Anything that stabilizes the T-post and functions similarly to any of these is perfectly acceptable. In a woodland setup like this, you could actually even tie off to one of the trees. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable. Use a low stretch rope and just tie right off to it. So. Hopefully that gives you some ideas today. Uh, if you have any questions, please call us at Pig Brig. Uh, the line is 833-744-2744. If you dial 2, that'll take you directly to tech support and somebody will help you out.